Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it's Juliana and today I'm back with another video. So I had a video up on my channel on how I did my sock curls. I had to take that video down because of copyright. So this video was highly requested on how I do my sock curls, like my go-to heatless method on how I do my hair um, curly. So without further ado, let's get on with this heatless hair method. What you need first, obviously, is a pair of socks. And you will need some hair ties to secure them overnight just in case they don't fall off when you sleep. And you also need some hair clippers like these just to make it easier for you to um, twist your hair. Lastly but not least, you need a little spray bottle which I fill it with water. I'm going to split my hair into two sections. So I've already done that. I split my hair in the middle as you can see. And then what I'm going to do is just tie this part off. Okay, first you need to dampen your hair, so I'm going to use this little spray bottle, okay, just a little bit. So you need your hair to be a little bit wet, but not too wet, or your curl is not going to come out as curly as you want it, and it's going to look sloppy. Like, it's going to look, it's going to be too wet in the morning, and it's just going to be a flop. I'm going to grab my hair clippers and sock, I'm just going to put it on my head like this and clip it. Okay, then what you need to do is you need to wrap your hair around the sock. What I do is twist my hair outwards like this and then you want to wrap your hair around the socks and not twist it together with the socks in your hair like this. So this is the wrong way to do it. The right way to do it is to twist your hair outwards. So like this, keep twisting your hair around the socks, not together with the socks. And then you wanna push it up so it can be tight. And then, and every time you wrap your hair around the socks, you wanna push it up like this so it can be tight. And then I'm going to finish this off with some more sprays. So just a little bit like that. And then take off the hair clipper. Wrap your hair into a bun like this. Make sure you hold your ends so you won't come off. Oh shit. See, it's already coming off. So now I'm going to do it again. Okay. Okay, so what you want to do next is just twist your hair into a bun like this. And make sure you're holding your ends. So you don't come off and just twist it into a bun. So what you want to do with the leftover sock, you want to just twist it around the bun, make it more secure. Keep holding your ends and then, then you want to grab a hair tie and then secure this. You want to grab a hair tie and you want to secure it. This hair tie is a bit tight. So now we're gonna move on with this hair and I'm gonna show you guys one last time. Clip the socks to your hair. And then you wanna spray a little bit of water. So make sure you're twisting outwards and make sure you're doing it tight too. So you want to twist outwards and then push up, twist, and push. Twist, then push. Make sure you're doing this tight. Twist and then push. I 
then you want to finish this off with some sprays. You take the hair clip off. And then you want to twist it into a bun. So hold the ends. Then you want to tie it off with the hair tie. And I'm just gonna sleep with this overnight and I'll see you guys in the morning. It's the next day now and I slept with these overnight and they were pretty comfortable to sleep in for the most part. Let's see how they turn out like. Okay. Oh. Well, this is actually cute. These curls came out really good, as you can see. Make sure you don't brush your hair with a comb and just brush it through with your fingers. So I'm just gonna do this. So this is the finishing result, really curly and bouncy, as you can see. Today I'm going to start off with four braids and all you're going to do is braid and it depends on how wavy and how much volume you want in your hair so I'm going to do four braids. So what you will need is a hair comb and something that has this at the end. So I have this little spray bottle and I just fill this up with water because when you do this you need your hair damp but not too wet so you just need this. And then what you need next is this little band elastics. I'm gonna split this in two sections. I'm gonna spray my hair, just make it damp a little bit. I'm gonna take a little piece of my hair, like that, and then I'm just gonna section it into three pieces. So I just do your regular braids. So I'm just gonna go under. Make sure when you braid your hair, make it tight, like pull it tight, so then the braid won't be loose. Now you just keep braiding until you have no more hair left to braid and make sure you braid your hair tight. Okay. I'm done braiding my hair and now I'm gonna sleep with this overnight so I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, so it's the next day and now I'm ready to take these braids off and let's see how the braids turn out. Just go through it like that. Wow. So lastly, I'm going to set my hair off with some hairspray. So I'm using the Tresemme Extra Firm Control. This 
So this is the finishing product. I hope you guys like my hair because I do. I'll just see you guys in a bit. Okay, y'all. So that's it for the video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment, and must subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already. And click that bell notification so you don't miss any time when I upload. And yeah, I love you all so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah.